known for making the latest and greatest peripherals in gaming, but I've noticed here at CES that you guys are jumping into the wrist revolution. Can you tell me about it? Right, we do. This is our first wearable that we're doing. It's called Razer Nabu, and it's basically a crossover between a smartwatch and a fitness band. It does fitness tracking, but that's only just one component to it. It's a notification conduit, I would say, plus a social interaction band. So we're calling it a smart band, and it's because it does all the fitness tracking that you know from existing fitness bands, but it also does notifications right on the band. So all the notifications that you get on your iPhone or your Android device come straight to the band, and it has two screens actually, one on the top of the wrist that gives you icons if you get a notification and then one on the bottom of your wrist that only turns on when you're looking at it and it gives you more information about the notification like who's calling you, who's texting you, what is the text all about. And the third thing that's really important for our band is that it does band-to-band -band communication. So similar to what you know from a Nintendo DS Street Pass functionality, these bands recognize if there's other bands in the vicinity and you can compare your fitness stats, you can compare your likes and interests, for example. You don't have to share that information, but if you want to, you can really enhance your social interactions. Wearable tech is huge this year, and Polar has something really cool to show off, so what do you have here for us today? So we have two products we're showing today. We have the Polar Loop, which is a 24-7 activity tracker. It'll track your sleep, it'll track your activity throughout the day, and then give you goals to encourage you to train smart, lead a more active, healthy lifestyle. And the second product is the V800, which is more for a serious athlete that has built-in integrated GPS and gives you metrics that are important to you that help you train smarter for running, cycling, and triathlon. I found more wearable tech, and Jin has something really cool. It's called Life Track. So tell us about it. Sure. This device has, besides the typical steps, distance, calories, it has heart rate. The device has a built-in display that's always on, so you can actually see the graphics on the display right away. It doesn't require recharging. It runs on a single battery for over a year. 24-7, you can wear it, forget about it. It syncs up to the phone, and you can analyze the data afterwards. I stopped Jen here because she has something cool on her wrist that Mio makes. Can you tell us about it? So what we are presenting here is called the Mio Link. What's cool about this product is it is a continuous heart rate band. So it doesn't require a chest strap and it gives you a continuous heart rate reading on your wrist. So it's super comfortable for anyone that's doing any kind of training. You don't need that cumbersome chest strap, but just a chest strap all done on your wrist.